Today we're going over the lesson of 7-4, which is algebra, the percent equation. Right here on the board here, we have of, is, what, and p percent. That is all that is revealed to us. From previous lessons, we should remember that of is going to mean multiplication. From 7-1, we were told several times of means multiplication. So in this sense here, doing the percent equation, we are going to be translating our words similar to what we did in 7-2. However, in this case, we don't have a straight setup. We're going to use the words to make our equation. So of is going to always translate into multiplication. Is has always translated into being equals. So translating to equals, now we have a multiplication and an equals. So of is multiplication, is is equals. What is going to translate to our variable n, meaning that's what we are going to be solving for. If they say what percent, we're solving for n. If they say what number, we're solving for n. And p percent is something new for us, that we are translating to the percent, but in decimal form. So if they give us 25 percent, we are going to want to put that as 0.25. So as I note here, 25 percent to a decimal, we're going left with our decimal, it's 1, 2 to the left, so 25 percent, we call, turns into 0.25. Once we have the equation, we're going to have one n in there, because we're always searching for what number or what percent, so we're going to use the equation to help us solve for the unknown. Also make sure the answer is in the correct form, so if they're asking for what percent, make sure you give them a percent and not a decimal. Example number one here. We have what number is 52% of 200? So starting off, what, I have n, so I know I'm solving for a number here, so that just means I've got a number. Is is equals, so I have n equals 52%. Percent sign tells me I need to draw that decimal, move it two to the left, and so now I have 0 0.52 of means multiply, so times 200. So now looking at my equation here, I have n equals 52 hundredths of t times 200. So typing that in, I have 0.52 times 200, and I get 104. So n equals 104. There wasn't a lot to solving since we had two multiplication parts on the same side of the equation and we already had just one n. We had one n over here. We didn't have anything extra that we needed to do to solve. On the next example, you may notice that the number has changed to 18. So if you haven't changed that on your notes already, now would be a good time to do that. 18 is what percent of 45? So again, I have 18. Write it down right off the bat. Is means equals. What tells us n? And then percent tells us we want percent form at the end. So I typically draw that very small above my n, knowing that I have that last step at the end. It's not next to the n, but above it, because we do not get a percent with n. When we solve for n, we're going to get a decimal, and the percent sign is going to be a reminder to change that decimal into a percent. Of means multiplication, and 45 is just going to be 45. So now I have 18 equals some number times 45. So to solve for this, I find it a little bit better to switch my position of n just with the 45. n times 45 is going to be the same thing as 45n. Now, this looks like just a problem from, I believe, 3, 3, or 3, 2, where we are solving a multiplication equation, 45 times n, we do need to do the opposite to solve for n. If we have 45n, we need to divide n into 45 by 45 to get just 1n. We're also going to divide 18 by 45 because we need to keep our equation balanced. Dividing by 45, we're going to get a single n, and then we have 18 over 45 using our calculators. 18 divided by 45 is going to give us 40, or 0.4 tenth. 40 hundredths, or 4 tenths. Now remember, this is a decimal, and we needed a percent. We don't have 0.4 percent, but we need to move our decimal two spaces to the right to give us 40 
And now we have a percent. So I'm going to rewrite this as 40%. And that is our answer. You can also double check your answer by going back and plugging it in. We have 18 equals, again, 40, but we're going to write it as 0.4 because we want percents written as a decimal times 45. So it's 0.4 times 45 going to equal our answer. It does. So that's an extra way we can check our work by plugging our answer into the equation we just had there. So 40% is our answer. Example 3 here is 15 is 30% of what number? So we have 15 written first. Is means equal. As we have our guide up top here. 30%, again, we need to translate this into decimal form, moving our decimal 1 and 2 spaces to the left, because percent to decimal is 2 to the left. We get 3 tenths of means multiplication. And what number tells us we have a variable n? So looking at this problem here, we have 15 equals 3 tenths times n. We don't have to readjust our order here. So we are just going to start by dividing by 3 tenths from both sides. So we can solve for, for n. I'll write n on the left here. So we got 15 divided by 3 tenths. Again, using our calculator. Forgot my decimal. 15 divided by 0.3 gives us 50. So we have 50 is n. Now, plug it back in to check our answer. 0.3 times 50. And seeing that we have a 0 here, if we did 50 times 0.3, this 0 is going to move our decimal over 1. We can move our decimal over 1 here. 3 times 5 is 15. And 15 is what's over here. So we do have the right answer in n equals 50. It's always good to check your answer. So if you're not confident with it, that'll give you a yes or no if you got it correct. Music. Of the 750 people surveyed, 28% preferred pop over metal music. In this problem, we are looking for how many people preferred pop music. Now, right off the bat, we see of the 750 people. Of means multiply. And 750 looks to be our whole, right? Of all the people surveyed, 28% preferred pop over metal music. Now, thinking about it a little differently, is there a way we can rephrase this question and still mean the same thing? The answer is yes. We can say 28% take this and bring it right over here. 28% of the 750 people surveyed preferred pop over metal music. That makes sense and it didn't change the meaning of the sentence at all. So we'll do it as if it's like that. Remember, we have our decimal over here, so we're going to have to move our decimal 2 to the left. And so now our 28 hundredth is going to be on the left from what we were given as 28%. 0.28 times 750 equals n, because that's what we're looking for. We can solve for n right away just by multiplying. Again, putting our 28 hundredth times 750 I get 210. So n equals 210. Are we done? Not yet. It is a word problem. So we need to say 210 people, and the correct label would be prefer pop music. So it's a long label, but that is what they're asking. How many people prefer pop music? So if you have any other questions about this or have any need more examples done, there are peer tutors done online, as well as some more qu quizzes to test out your information.